This arrest warrant had been sealed until this morning when Angel Rivera went to court. It tells us a lot, but still does not say exactly how investigators believe Nicole Montalvo was killed or who specifically did it. The judge today ordered that Angel Rivera be released from jail because prosecutors still have not filed formal charges against him or his son, Christopher Otero Rivera, for the murder of Nicole Montalvo. The thought of them getting out angers Montalvo's friends. Scares the hell out of me. Yeah, absolutely. He's a monster. The newly unsealed warrant reveals what evidence prosecutors did and did not have when the men were arrested and includes the blunt statement, quote, Nicole was killed and her body was cut into pieces and then buried by Angel and Christopher. It says phone records show Montalvo went to the Rivera's home on Hickson Avenue near St. Cloud on October 21st and never left. They believe she got there just after 430. Almost two hours later, she gets a call but does not pick up. Then right before seven, a text is sent from her phone to Angel Rivera's and a call is made from him to her, though her phone appears to still be at Rivera's house. That text, which Rivera claimed was from Montalvo, allegedly read, quote, I'm really sorry about everything. I should have listened to you. I made a bad mistake. She asks the Rivera's to take care of her son and then says, I am with a friend that is going to help me get through this. Tell my son, Mommy loves him. The sheriff's office says a witness said Otero Rivera had been threatening and extorting Montalvo over custody of their child. They executed a search warrant at the house and found Montalvo's remains buried two to five feet underground. What they discovered was human organs cut with a cutting device. They also say Otero Rivera's GPS monitor, which he was required to wear for a different criminal case, showed he was moving around the burial site and records show the Rivera's rented an excavator. But there's no mention in the document about how Montalvo was killed or who exactly did it. Ahead of today's hearing, investigators put new charges on Rivera for abuse of a dead body and failure to report a death. His attorney telling me right now the murder case is very thin. They don't have enough to file. Uh, they don't have enough to take the case to the grand jury, and which is required under the rules of procedure and the case law. This afternoon, a judge gave Rivera a very high bond, $350,000. But if he can get that money together, he'll be able to walk out of the jail. Reporting at the Osceola County Jail, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.